Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be looking at the Zeta Tours Superiorion, which is Superiorion. And my dog is in the shot. I don't know why he he likes to he likes to complain over here. But we're gonna take a look at the box. Very nice in detail. The when I got it, cause I got this from Show Z. The box came like messed up, so I'm a little mad about that. But overall, pretty good. And then that's the that's the picture. If you want to put the two boxes together, and then here are the robots right here. Yep, pretty big. Big thing. We're gonna get it open and out of his packaging, and we're gonna check out how cool this bad boy is. You know, the articulation on these guys are pretty solid. There is a lot of uh, back kibble for these uh, figures, but uh, like I said again, I wasn't going to uh, pose them in a manner that we see a lot of their back kibble. So. <clears throat> This one right here just has a whole fucking I'm just think of back cable. And um there's nothing I can really do about that to be honest. It's just um yeah. It's more like I'm gonna display this as superior, so I'll be gonna... Don't mind it. But I do know other people probably will mind it. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, I'm just glad I got the metallic version for this because. It just looks so great. It's beautiful. And uh, I'm, I heard something that like this weighs. Well, I think I saw another video. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I saw another video which showed that that these are actually like, they weigh more. Pretty nice. Um, that was Silver Bowl I just looked at, and this is a uh, Fly Fire. I'm not too familiar with the name, so. You could probably just look it up. G1 Aerial Bots names. Just to be honest, I forgot their names. But I will just say, pretty nice in all of them. Can't complain.
Now, I will put these all in, um, in jet form. So I'm just gonna give a quick rotation one more time of what they look like. Yeah, pretty good. Even though this one has a lot of back cable. It's still pretty good. Some nice detail. Oh. Yeah. To be honest, you just have to get these. You just have to get them straight. No. Well, you gotta make sure so that they can hold their gun too. So. Pretty cool though, you know what I'm saying? If I would say so myself. So yes, those are the aerial bots. Pretty nice. Pretty nicely done. I will transform these. Um, I think I'm gonna do it off camera just because I have not transformed these yet by myself but these are looking very beautiful and here are the the little things that it comes with that i showed off before and here's the box obviously it comes with the hands and the the big gun but this is uh you know obviously they can't hold it this is superior's weapon we're gonna get to after I transform them and here are all the extra goodies and extra parts and stuff but yep we're gonna get him transformed and we're gonna see how they look and hey guys welcome back I finally transformed them it is uh, dark outside so Pretty much took a while transforming all these, but yes, they're pretty. Um, they're pretty beautiful, as I might say. Very well detailed. Very nice. I like the way they look. Well, that part I messed up. Very nice. That's always a hard robot to pull off because there's always clutter at the bottom. Pretty nice if I can say so myself. And then we come. Look at the back. Pretty nice. I just want to make sure you guys see all of that. And then right here too, I'm not sure what the names are, like how I said before, but you already know, so I'm just going to stop saying it, but yep, these are the, these are the five right here, aerial bots, we got Silver Bolt, Air Raid, and uh, other ones, I'm not sure right now, so we're going to see. And like again, like I said, they got nice detail molded into it. Oh, the fighter jets, even though they're not G1 accurate, they look more realistic, which I like it better because, I mean, I don't know. Everything can be, you know, it looks G1 when you combine it, that's the point. We got this one right here. 
very nice. I like it when they look more realistic, like realistic jets. Because, I mean, that's what they were. And, you know, some of the tabbing I can't get. Because um, you know, you're going to see with, like, figures like these. At least with the instructions and everything. I had to, like, watch a video, basically, to do this myself, which was sad. Because the instructions are so, like, worse compared to Hasbro instructions. So... But overall, great, what a great figure. The instructions are a little wonky, but, you know, I had uh, looked up a YouTuber. Um, and this is a... Uh, very nice detail. And I'm uh, I'm not sure, like, off the top of my head, but I think this actually weighs more than the other set of uh, combiners that are in metallic. So, that is crazy. They do get the nice detailed jets over here, which is cool. Like I said, this is a good figure to... At least in my connection, I, I like the way it looks. And then here we got Firefly, which is like the only fucking thing that I remember from the box. Or the only thing I remember from the box, my fault. I might edit that out. But yeah, pretty nice. You know, he got all this clutter at the bottom, obviously, with the, all of them. But. Would be nice if I say so myself. I think that one's probably like my favorite out of all of them. And then here we got this black one, which is pretty nice. This one kind of reminds me of the Decepticon um, kind of aircraft from the G1. Because of these parts right here. But I mean... It, it could be for anything. I could just be tweaking. But yeah, this is a pretty nice. This one's pretty clean. And that one over there too. But I mean, I feel like this one's more clean than that one. I'm not sure. Just because, like, it has that right there. Like, this one seems okay. Even though it's not bad. But. I don't know. But yeah, these are the aerial bots right here, guys. You let me know you like it. And now we're going to see them combined. This time, as we will be bringing you up to the minute in Hey guys, I'm back and with Superion all transformed and he looks very well. Some nice molded detail in the legs going up to the top. And he looks very nice. Basically, I feel like this jumps out of the cartoon. Now, I'm not really into the Transformer politics where, where the figures, where people, you know, they might say, oh, that he might have too much junk or, or whatnot. Or I like this other version better. I like this version. I'm probably not going to get another version of Superion until maybe the future. Until maybe Fans Toys. Fan Toys Superion looks very nice. Well, I mean, I haven't even seen what it looks like, to be honest. I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. But the four aerial bots that they have already made look very nice. And I guess they're waiting on one. Because... Very nice molded detail. 
really sticks out. Really makes you want to spend four hundred and twenty dollars, which that's how much this figure was, for me at least. Can't quote other people, but yes, Supreme on side over here is on a ball joint, so it does rotate, and the arms too, they do rotate too. And they rotate at a full, uh, a full. They rotate at a full angle, so. But I do gotta keep the. Uh, I gotta keep the arm up for this pose, because he cannot stand by himself. And you know what? It is my fault too, because I need to buy a tripod. So. Yeah, that is uh, how he looks, basically. Like I said, you could get Superion into some nice poses. It's a great figure all overall. If you guys are deciding on picking this up, I definitely recommend. Because this figure just out, it's just outstanding, to me at least. I'm not sure to other people. Maybe they've seen better, maybe they can make better. They probably will. Because with time, everything changes. But Yes, this is Superion. And, yep. This is metal right here, just so if you guys don't know. And then his head is on a ball joint. Or, I wouldn't say a ball joint. I mean, I'm not really too sure what you want to call that, but actually, you could take it off. I'm not sure what you would really want to call that. And then here's the back, the batteries, and other stuff, which I don't have, unfortunately. But yes, the head plugs in right there. Just like that. Which is very nice overall. And his arms, they do rotate fully, 360. And his legs are also on, um, they have, I would say, pistons. Not really too sure how to describe it the best. The articulation is the best. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. The my review on the Zeta Taurus uh, Superion. And you let me know if you guys like the content and what else I should do more because I want to do more of this YouTube stuff I like. So, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, road to a uh, road to a thousand.